All right, Steve here. This is our coach that's for sale, uh, the 91 Eagle. You can see um, I replaced this window in the door. We bought the bus that had a busted window because it hit the, hit the mirror. And anyway, I'm gonna start in the front lounge because it was a lot of work. Anyway, I tore out the entire dashboard, everything. All this was gone. I rebuilt all this stuff here. Um, I redid all the gauges, all the lights. I put fans in for the driver. Um, I redid all the cabinets, did all the curtains. Uh, they slide all around and close off for privacy. Um, under the dash, I pulled this dash. There was nothing in here. Just the, the bulkhead was here. I tore the floors out. I pulled this fiberglass insert out. I pulled the brake pedals and throttle out. I resheated, uh, re I recoated all this with um, bed liner, new carpet, all new plywood on the floors. Uh, this is fiberglass, new plywood here, fiberglass steps, repaired all the lights, put the step in for the, uh, you know, the passenger uh, jump seat here, uh, which is bolted through the frame with seat belts. So uh, rule number one is the person in this seat has to wear their seat belt. I ran duct work in here, switches. There's a switch here, it turns on lights above your head. You know, um, I done a lot of stuff. I put a deadbolt in, I put air conditioning vent things right by the passenger seat, uh, a fan. Uh, there's a couple of curtains that I didn't put in. There's a secret compartment up here for stashing your whiskey and your weed, uh, stuff like that. I tore the interior of this coach. This is a factory raised entertainer. It's never been a seated coach. Uh, it used to be Bad Company's tour bus, and uh, Michael Bolton used it. Dolly Parton used it. Um, I have all the, the stuff, the things that were in the glove box down here taped to this door. That's Michael Bolton's scene, but I got the rest of the stickers in the garage. I was going to put them back on. Um, I tore all this up. This whole dash, this whole compartment, this whole compartment here, I tore this all out. Do you know how many feet of defrosting tubes there are in the dash of an Eagle? I do. Probably like 100 feet of 3 inch, 2 inch, 4 inch. It is insane the amount of tubing I replaced. I replaced every single vent every single tube in this dashboard so uh the, the defroster motor which is located outside behind the bumper under the driver's seat was bad somebody else took it out and never put a defroster motor back in so i have not put the defroster motor back in they are available they're a couple hundred bucks the plug is there you just got to bolt it down with two bolts i've got it sealed off with a, a plastic cover so no rodents can get in here when we bought this bus, the floors were rotten, the walls were rotten, the bugs, the birds, the bats, the spiders, the floors, you could push your finger through the floor. Um, I gutted this coach to the studs. The only thing inside this bus was the headliner. I, I didn't take it out. I had to re-glue in a couple of spots and where you see those uh, strips on there, I was going to put oak strips across there versus the, the, the leather looking ones. But anyway, so... All this stuff. I have all the curtains that go up here, you know, for the drivers. There's a driver thing that goes there. A new driver's seat, air ride. Um, all new carpet. Carpet's not even six months old. Uh, all the tow lights work. Vents for the AC. I put uh, tow heaters in. Uh, the front lounge and rear lounge. There's thermostats on the walls for those. I redid all the screens. I pulled all the cabinets out of this coach. I mean, there was nothing in this bus, and I have pictures to back it up. There was nothing in this bus except tubes. And I sanded and wire brushed every single tube in this coach from the ceiling to the floor, including the floor. I put all styrofoam in all the walls, clocked the styrofoam in place so there's no moisture problems. All new three-quarter inch plywood on the walls. All new marine gray three-quarter inch plywood on all the floors, except for two little spots in the back I didn't have to do, but um, all of them. I mean, I tore the walls out, and you can kind of tell this used to be, um, you can see here on the floor, little things that need to be done on the coach. Like, there's supposed to be baseboard in here. You see how the there's a seam there? Well, the walls in here were so bad, they had rotted up like an inch, so I cut all the walls off in the whole coach. Because I like this 1990s vintage. I'm an old cat. I like this old stuff. So see, like baseboards need to be put on above the carpet. I cut all this plywood, all this stuff back two inches to where it was good lumber. 
pieced in, you know, re-glued stuff in so it looked good. I put the walls back in. There's storage under this seat. It's a powered sub box under the, the dinette seat. Sound bar. I got to come a musician. So this is a killer. There's three stereo systems in this bus. There's supposed to be four. There's supposed to be another one on the driver's uh, thing. You can see the harness is up there. Uh, it's all there. It's all wired in. It just needs to be put back a, a box built, put the stereo back in. I have a really nice LED stereo for it. This was a um, uh, cruise air. Had three cruise airs. They were junk. I took them out. I just made this a vent fan, uh, a vent area. It's just a vent. What I was going to do here, I'll show you. I did this in the back lounge. I just put, I cut a hole in this door and I put a vent in here and I mount a squirrel cage fan in here and I wire it to a switch on the wall and you can turn it on and it blows air, circulates air. So all, I redid all the cabinets. I'm telling you, everything in here, even down to the screws are in good shape. The lights, um, you know, I have lights, LEDs and every, everywhere, you know, on dimmers. Uh, plus there's 12 volt lights. Uh, all these 12 volt lights are LEDs. I took them all apart. They were RV lights with the old 1157 bulbs. I rebuilt every light in the bus with LEDs. Um, stereo system, 110 killer little light. Uh, you know, stuff like this, this trim needs to be put back around here. I just, that's the kind of stuff that needs to be done. You can see the finish on the cabinets. I did one door over here. You can see on this cabinet door here, I did the, the clear finish and it looks, see on the top one here, I did clear coat. The whole thing could use a clear coat to, to dress it up. Um, refrigerator, I put a full size fridge in. So this layout used to be right here. There used to be a little tiny sink and a little tiny refrigerator and an ice box. Uh, great if you have only four people. Uh, so I tore that out after I got to the floors and I put all the new plywood, all CDX plywood. I put vents in. I, I redid all the vents. I built my own vents. I, I lined the vents with plastic and uh, galvanized metal so there will never be any more problems. Um, all the lights work. Um, I have hardwood floor that goes under this table right here. That's why it looks like plywood right now. I just We couldn't decide what wood to put there. The wood that's up here, they ran out of that at the, the second-hand store where I get my stuff at. Uh, they ran out of that. So I bought another one that matches it close and looks good. That has to be put in, which I have. I have everything to finish the little projects in, in here. So anyway, back to the sink. The stuff used to be here. I put a full-size fridge in here, which runs off the inverter or shore power or generator, however you got it hooked up. All the cabinets have been tore out, clean rebuilt you know i put these poles in for support uh everything is pretty much you know everything has been redone you can get this coach has not one smell in it i put two inch vent pipes through the ceiling from my tanks which are all new holding tanks all new pex plumbing new uh on-demand hot water heater you can stand in the shower for four hours if you've got water and i put a 125 gallon fresh water tank in um i built this is just a work light. I have a work light mounted here for, for working in here. But you can see I I tore. This was, this is the bunk wall originally. Thermostat there for the other heater, electric heater. Um, the wall used to be straight across here. We didn't need 12 bunks. So I tore these three bunks out. And I built my own galley. And I custom did all the cabinets and drawers. I built all these, so do their plywood. You can park a car on these drawers and the slides if you want. Um, you know, everything is solid. Uh, everything's oak. Uh, back splash. We never decided what to put up there. We were going to put the like the tin looking stuff, you know, the the metal stuff. And then my wife said, "Oh, maybe brick. No, maybe this." And it's like, so right now the plywood looks fine. <laughs> anyway, microwave. You know, again, another cabinet, um, thermostat for the basement air conditioners I put in. Uh, I did not, I did not put roof airs in here because the ceiling is impeccable. The, the ceiling is virgin ceiling. I think it's like an 11 or 12 inch roof raise. So this thing's 
This thing's huge. It's like an apartment inside. I wish I had slides. Anyway, bathroom. Again, I had to cut all the walls off. And this is supposed to be a piece of wood, um, you know, bull nose on here. But I just put this piece of metal on just so nobody trips over the edge of the thing because I haven't cut the piece for there. Again, I have that piece of cabinet, separate outlet for the wife's hair dryer, curling iron. You know, I got the knob for this cabinet. It's just not in. These wires here, uh, I poked a hole in here. These wires would be run up so you could put a vent fan in your bathroom. So when you take a dump, you can turn the fan on. Those storage compartment things for hiding your whiskey and moonshine. Uh, toilet is rebuilt. I put new valves in it. New ball, uh, ball cock valves in it. Uh, water valves. Um, sinks, all new faucets. Uh, new linoleum. Nothing. In, there's not a bad smell anywhere in this coach. I mean, you can see this... Uh, my diffuser my wife puts in here, this is a patchouli. We're kind of like patchouli frankincense people, but um, little things like this here. This was one of the original pieces I put in, but they had a bunch of crap here. So I have a six inch mirror that's probably five feet tall that will go down this whole thing. I just haven't put it in because I was working in this area with the shower. And with my luck, I had to walk by here and smacked it with a hammer or a board and had to scrape the mirror off the wall and have another three-day mess. Again, this is like on the floor. This is supposed to be a wood oak piece of uh, trim here. I didn't put that there. I just, I put this down temporarily so it looks, it's usable because we use this thing all the time. We've not stopped. I've been working on this coach. It will be six years this July that I've worked on this coach. Now, this is the front lounge. I put a TV up here. We use our hotspot, we use our cell phones, Netflix, uh, locking, hide your shit from the band stuff like the Jack Daniels and the whiskey and Daryl Worley whiskey and all that other good stuff. Um, or your wife's purse or my wallet so my wife can't find it. But uh, that's pretty much her bus. So, oh, look, a wooden pig. How about that? Um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, I ran all new wires, tucked everything. You can see the ceiling in here. You know, these... Uh, these trim pieces here, I'm just not a fan. I mean, I can put extra screws here to pull these up so they, they all sit kind of... I'm OCD, so I like stuff to be level. You know what I mean? And what I've done in my past coaches is I have put oak strips. They sell an oak strip that go across here. Use the same screw holes and put the oak in here. It looks so much nicer. Um, on the ceiling here, you can see this is where the old bunk wall used to come in. So there's some dents here, but right where these dents are... I was going to put a piece of oak one by screwed on there and mount an LED light strip up here. There's power right side of this cabinet, LED light strip. So you have LED versus this work light. This work light can come down and go, you know, back in the garage. But uh, like I say, there's a light under the cabinet here. I don't have, oh, sorry, almost dropped you. Uh, they're not on. Oh, they are on. So I have LED lights. You can see the light LEDs in there. So this is over the sink you know, um, throughout the coach. There's LED lights everywhere in this bus. I mean, they're all over the place. Um, there's one in here, you walk into the hallway. These are wired direct to the coach batteries. Again, I put six LED pucks in here. So no more than 1157 juice robbing stuff. But yeah, so that's the front lounge. Little things, like I said, the trim, some clear coat, you know, what, whatever a person might want to do. These poles need to be stained. I stained this one. It's, it's the oak stain. I didn't do these two, but they're there. I did all new screens. Uh, that's new glass in these two windows. This one's new. This one's new. The door is new. The mirror is new because the door flew open and hit the window. But that won't happen. And I repaired that. I cut the tube out under the door I welded all new tubing in under that door there was two pieces that were bad and that uh the safety catch for the door was wired uh, hooked into that and it rotted away and it's flung open and busted the window so I drove this coach home from Nashville six years ago with a broken window one mirror 100 degrees outside and no air conditioning me and my wife with one fan and uh here we are six years later almost done <laughs> anyway we're at a spot now where we we need to move on we, got, we have to sell the coach we don't want to sell the coach um it runs impeccable it drives like a car i'm not 
pull anybody's legs, but I'm not giving my coach away. I know what I've got in it. You won't have to do anything in this coach unless you decide to do something to this coach. The motor runs impeccable. The tranny shifts great. Double, double overdrive, six speed, automatic. Uh, I get about eight miles a gallon. I just put the generator in. That should be done uh, by Friday. I got a new Jenny for it. And uh, so anyway, yeah, you know, coffee pot, back to the galley. I don't take my, I have to do this video probably in two pieces. So this is going to be called uh, Front Lounge video number one you know sink uh water they said you you can turn on it's running off the water pump right now it's just cold water you turn the hot water on um it'll get it's low on water right now but i'll have the gas turned off it's got an lp tank mounted in the front bay and one that bolts up to the to the ceiling uh to the up up to the floor underneath and uh so i filled the tank up two years ago it's still got a half tank so it doesn't use any any uh lp really to speak of but again dash area new driver's seat air ride i pulled every wire every gauge redid every connection it's got electric wipers with delay built in um i redid all these vents for the driver they're all tied into the all the new um, uh, vent pipe that I put in. The 300 miles of vent pipe. Oh my God. Fans, here's this. The, these are the fishbowl fans, baby. This will save you when you're driving down the road in the sunlight. And so does the shades. It's got some cool shades too, so you can pull these down. You know, everything in the coach works. You know, um, yeah, high and low for that. Uh, all the heat controls work. I fixed the cables for the temperature control and the driver air. I fixed the driver air control down here, the vent fan. I pulled this whole duct system out underneath here. All these switches work. They're all wired in and, it's, and they're wired at the other end. Some come out in the generator bay. All these come out in the generator bay crossed here. They're all labeled here, floor cross, motor gen. It was an old setup, but all the wires, there's a person wanted to put in a start switch for the generator from here and maybe a temperature gauge here or, or whatever you want to use these for. They're not being used for anything, but they're all active. They're all labeled. Any wire that I took apart in this coach has got a label on it. It's got a number on it. You won't have to go fishing for anything. Electric mirrors, I redid those. Um, your transmission, the ZF. I have engine diagnostic. I got that fixed. The check engine light works. Uh, electric wiper uh your mirrors um i don't remember what that was for what does it say oh engine diagnostic gives you the flashing lights if you have a, a, a problem with that i cut an extra holder by accident need to put like a little i'm gonna put i was gonna put a a, a round patch on here metal black and you can set your coffee cup on it so yeah that's it these curtains pull fuse boxes in here relabeled all the wires I, uh, they're all labeled in the bays where they go uh, electric heat is wired up to 220 uh, my alcohol bottle I have my, uh, my Chicago credit card here parking my parking pass for parking in Chicago um, stereo speakers are in here there's a powered sub in the back lounge that goes behind this seat for the driver it's all wired in the wires for the CB are wired in. The stereo wires for the stereo are wired in. It used to sit right here, but it was old junk eight track. I threw it away. But all these vents, everything is new. I promise you, if you get that uh, defroster motor put in, uh, I know a couple guys that have them available. It's four bolts. It literally takes 15 minutes to put the motor in. Anybody with any kind of knowledge in a crescent wrench can put the motor in. Uh, it's one wire it plugs onto the motor and it's done anyway this is video number one front lounge driver's area stuff like that i'll go to video number two this video was 20 minutes long sorry for blabbing but i know it's hard to buy something long distance uh so i try and be really up front i don't want anybody to drive here and say well you didn't say that i promise you if you buy this bus and you come here and you tell me i didn't say that i'll pull the video out and show you i did you want to know something Call me, text me, or Ellie Mae. We'd be more than happy 
to go out and take a picture or do a video for you. Uh, nice clean coach, be in it, go down the road, take the grandkids. I set it up as a band bus slash RV for me, Ellie Mae, and our grandkids. We had a couple grandkids that go camping. So I did uh, you know, two condo bunks for me, Ellie Mae. Nice condo bunks. I did three bunks in the back for the grandkids. You could sleep a person here if you need to for a band. So you could sleep two, five, six, and you got two in the back. You could sleep seven people if you needed to. Six comfortably. You can ride 14 people comfortably sitting up. Comfortably not squashed. 14 people can ride in this coach. And it goes down the road. Perfect. I mean, there's no, I would not... I'll drive, like I said, I'll drive this coach anywhere. Somebody buys this bus, you want it delivered, you pay for the fuel and pay for my rental car back home, I'll drive the bus to you. That's that's how confident I am with the bus. Anyway, I'll do part two, which is going to be the bunk room and water tank and shower. And then I'll do probably a part three. Maybe I can do part two, rear lounge and uh, back half of the bus. But anyway, thanks for looking. If you're interested, just holler at us. I'll get this link posted. I'll share it to all the pages. Appreciate y'all. Thanks.